So we just about looked at all the different type tools inside of Illustrator, but I do want to point out one thing. If we come over to the type tool in the tools panel, we did look at the type tool, the area type tool, and the type on a path tool. We also looked at the touch type tool, but we didn't talk about the vertical versions of these tools, and that's all they are. They're the same tools that we looked at, the type, area type, and type on a path tools, except the type will be placed vertically. And this is very helpful if you're working with something other than a non-Latin based language. But if I go ahead and select one of these tools and come over and choose a font and a size, I'll go ahead and increase the font size a little bit. If I click and type, you... so that's one thing that we didn't take a look at. The other thing that I want to point out is you do have a spell checker inside of Illustrator, which is obviously very helpful if you have large amounts of copy. But just know that the spell checker will work based upon the dictionary that you specify for a text object. So for example, if I click and drag here, this is now set to the English dictionary. If I come over here and select the type tool to click away from this and come over and choose a different type tool, I'll go with the regular type tool, and I type in another word, I'll type in Cinco. Well, Cinco is from the Spanish dictionary, of course. So I'm going to come over and highlight the selection tool, and I'm going to change this to the Spanish dictionary. Once you do that, if you perform a spell check, Illustrator will know that this should be evaluated based upon the Spanish dictionary. So if we come over to the edit menu, and from the edit menu we choose check spelling, you'll notice we don't have any problems. But if we didn't change the dictionary here, the English dictionary wouldn't like the word Cinco. So there you go. The only other thing that I want to point out when you're working with vertical type, you do have the option to convert it to either area type or point type, just like you would if you're working with horizontal type.